one. Guys, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are. And thank you so much for joining. And uh, as usual, it's me, Randy, and my friend on the other side, Venkara, planning to t walk you through um, how, to, how to gain financial independence in five years. Guys, that is my goal too. Five years, shorter the better, right? Uh, you don't want to wait for like 25 years to, to gain your financial independence. And you don't want to drive a Ferrari when you're 65, right? You wanna, if you want a Ferrari, which we do not really encourage, and if you have that kind of money, just invest and live a happy life. That's a different story. But you don't still, if you want to do that, you don't have to wait till 65. So we're going to talk you through, uh, you know, how to do it, how to uh, gain financial independence in five years, guys. You know, five years. <clears throat> and Wendy is going to walk us through A to Z, or should you do Z to A, you know, start with the number and work backwards. And some, you know, you, you might have heard about several rules, like 4% rules and this rule and that rule. So he's going to show us a formula for that. And the time period, how you can work on this time period. Uh, you know, monthly or yearly, and by the time five years hit, uh, how you're going to achieve what you wanted to achieve, Venkat? Right, yeah, it's completely possible, guys. Like, I was thinking the same thing, like, you know, before, like, it's not possible. But there is something, there is something called lean fire, right? Lean financial independence. That basically means you, you can live, uh, you know, comfortable. Not really, like, you, you cannot go and spend a lot of money uh, on additional things. That is a lean fire. So getting to the lean fire is the first step. Yeah. Uh, that means basically you are, you're good to go. Like you, you don't need to work. That, that is a financial independence, guys. You right. don't need to do a day, day job, like nine to five job. Mm -hmm. You have all the independence that you can do whatever you want because the money is going to come in, the expenses is going to come in for you to save you every year going forward. So it's, so it's like, like earn while you sleep, right? That's the idea. Right, right, right. <laughs> because the money that you saved, like, you know, bunch of money you saved uh, and invested, right? Not just saved, invested mm -hmm. in the right place. It is giving you the income for you while you're sleeping, right? So yeah. that income is good enough for your expenses to so the whole year. Right. That basically covers it. That's how that's a, that's a simple, as simple as that. Uh, but but uh, think about the first step, guys. First step, you need to know what is your expenses. Mm -hmm. So again, you come back to the come back to the budgeting, right? So you, you you already did your budget. Let's say you already did your budget. You know exactly how much is your expenses, right? How much is your income? How much is your expenses? How much is your savings and all those mm -hmm. things, right? So in this case, uh, we are only talking about the first step. If you wanted to become financially independent, first step is you need to find your expenses. Um, so for that, you know, housing expenses, we, we talked about in so many videos, guys, yep. housing expenses, transportation, um, maybe medical insurance, yeah. you know, grocery, uh, groceries, food. Yeah. Uh, you know, travel, all this combined, you just combine everything, but those like, you know, you will, you'll know exactly the monthly expense, multiply that by 12. So how about I, I show, um, you know, maybe, uh, Share my screen, I'll, I'll scribble yeah. something uh, on the whiteboard so that way it's easier. Let me see, let me know, uh, Randy, if you can see my screen. Mm, it's coming, it's coming, yeah, it's here. It's oh, here. Okay. I can see the whiteboard. Oh, good, 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 okay. <clears throat> so let's say, uh, let's say guys, most of the houses, I'm going to take it right. Uh, most of the houses, if you want to live comfortably, $5,000 a month. In US, right? I'm talking about in US. Five thousand dollar a month, if you have, you you should be good. That is your expenses, right? Uh, and then times twelve, it's going to give you sixty thousand dollar. Sixty thousand dollar per year is what you need to, uh, you know, your expenses basically, not probably your expenses. Yeah. Yeah. So if you wanted to be financially independent, you need to have twenty five times. So again, the four person rules, right? So 25, this times 25, that is uh, $1.5 million, guys. Yeah, 1.5, right. Yeah. So if you have <laughs> $1.5 you million, um, you can quit your job. Yeah. This actually, this should be, this should have been invested in houses, for example, right? Uh, five houses, $300,000, right? $300,000, five different houses, right? 300K, 300K. You got the idea, right? So, yeah. so this is basically 
uh, 1.5 million. <laughs> like just looking at that, right? That's a current right. value, guys. Real estate is going to go up, right? So this is the current value. But but how do you achieve that in five years? You have so basically you need to get to 1.5 million. Uh, but you can always, uh, if your expense is really low, right? If your expense is only thousand dollar a month. Just re calculate it accordingly, guys. It's yeah. just it's just using five thousand dollar a month. That is like a very comfortable life in the US, right? Um, and uh, so again, yeah. Let's say this this is the whole thing that you need invested in the right place. So we, uh, I would say three places, right? Crypto, mm -hmm. uh, real estate, and the stocks. So those are the basic stocks means like it includes the index funds, uh, individual stocks, right? Individual stocks, companies. So if you invested on those three, uh, I would say uh, the crypto, like, you know, um, uh, like 10%, mm -hmm. real estate, like uh, 60%, yeah. the stocks like 30%, right? So if you do and that, the reason you put only ten percent, we know that crypto is, is really booming. But still, if you you put ten percent, is it because of its volatile nature? It's or? risky. Yeah, it's risky. But at the same time, like yeah, you don't want to put uh, the these two. Uh, the real estate is a more safer safer one, right? right. So you're putting more uh, money on it. Stocks is also it's almost safer. But it, the, the 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 like Apple, if you put it in Apple, it is more safer, right? But if you put it in like Hits or something. It got it. It, it is bankrupted. Uh, uh, so sorry. What what's that company? When did it? The Hertz, a rental car company. Hertz. Okay. Oh, uh, Hertz. Okay. Yeah, Hertz. Uh, but but if you put it in stocks, uh, like in a better companies, you may you may be okay with that. But it's it's just like fifty fifty in stocks. Uh, but crypto is also almost similar to that. But uh, if you put in crypto like Bitcoin and Ethereum, probably it's much better than putting it in somewhere in the top top 200 coin, right? 200 coin or something like that, right? And Venka, just a quick one. You mentioned about a particular uh, cryptocurrency type uh, that's really booming, Cardano. So, was Cardano, it yeah, that's, yeah, that's one of the, um, just like Ethereum was, you know, 10, almost uh, when it started, uh, Ethereum, that's similar like that Cardano is just starting Cardano. out. Okay. Uh, so it's, it's one of the, there's so many like that, like a uh, Polkadot, is another one. There's so many like that, but but yeah, those may go totally, totally, go, you know, empty, <laughs> totally zero. Yeah. It is possible, but but just, just that's why I put only ten percent, guys. Um, but anyway, so let's do the five years. So we our, our question is, how can you do this in five years, right? So let's go backwards, guys. So five years means you need three hundred thousand dollar per year, right? So mm -hmm. let me let me wipe everything out uh, here. So you need $300,000 per year, um, but you don't need $300,000 per year, guys. So let me show you. So five year, if you divide that by 300K, right, uh, per year, uh, that is that is exactly uh, what you need. But let's say you invest in uh, one, one house, mm -hmm. right? Uh, for that, you only need $60,000. If, if you want to, if you, if you want to put 20% of it, right? Okay. So you would need $60,000, uh, 20% of it. Buy a house the first year, right? Uh -huh. So first year, uh, you buy one house. Second year, uh, you buy two houses. Hmm. You have to buy it, right? Third year, you buy uh, two more houses. So you are going to buy five houses in the five year, guys. That's in, what it like is. In three years, five houses, is that right? Yeah, actually, yeah, sorry. In three years, you're gonna buy five houses. Um, that is going to actually appreciate too. Appreciate that in like, you know, 50 year, once you finish your 50 year, mm -hmm. you like, let's say you spend uh, 60, 60, 60, right? On so so for two homes, should it be 120 or is it still? Oh yeah, sorry, yeah, 120, 120. Right, so you spend three hundred k in uh, three years. Right, basically, right. yeah, that's that's what he did. But what you're going to do in the first year, you you only bought one house, right? Mm -hmm. But you're going to put ten percent of it, like six thousand of it, into the crypto, right? Crypto, mm -hmm. uh, and then um, sorry, 
uh, 30% of it, if you can put 18,000, right? That's 18,000, 18,000 right. into right. stocks. Right. Uh, so these two going to appreciate, these two going to give you some extra money for right. you to put it on the second year, guys. Second and then year. again, the, for the third year. Right. Um, so for like, you would need a lot of money in the beginning. That, that's, that's why like, you know, you, uh, for that, you have to get a high income job or right. both, both of you work in you know, multiple jobs. If you do, if you're not getting getting a high income job, that's going to pay six figure, right? Uh, both of you work in more than two three jobs, right? Uh, in addition to that, open few businesses, a uh, few businesses that's going to give you some money. Uh, that is that is how the, you have to make you have to make up that savings or reduce all your expenses, hmm. sell off everything, uh, you know, totally go like you know work you know live like a broke guys. You are right. Broke. Um, and so this, this is more like, like everything is interconnected in this case, right? So we talked about budgeting. So budgeting is important. Savings is important. And then uh, planning is important and investing is important. And uh, so all that uh, and, and uh, you know, being, being economical is important and everything comes into play in order to get to this. You know, there's no pain, no gain without pain. So this is, this is there's no rocket science. And there's no magic pill for this. No, you have, it has to be interconnected. And you have to put all these processes together to achieve this. So it's not like, oh yeah, in five years I I achieve independence like like that. So it's not like that. Thank you so much for this illustration, Menka. This this really clears things up. Yeah, one thing I just wanted to add up at the last point, right? If you cannot do that uh, two houses in the second year, you can always do fourth and fifth year, one house in each year, right? One house. Mm -hmm. At the same time, buy keep buying this crypto and stock, guys. Correct. So. Real estate, crypto, stocks. If you do that, those three things every year, you can, your proportions could be lower. Uh, you know, based on your expenses, your you know your income, you can uh, rearrange this. But that the 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 concept would be the same, guys. You concept. just invest on those three things, and then <clears throat> do every year uh, invest on the real estate, crypto, uh, you know, stocks. Keep on and doing that. Uh, that that's all you need. Uh, the fifty year, you will have a lot of appreciation. Right. And the, you can right. even sell some of the houses, gain those you know, fifty thousand, hundred thousand dollar gain that you got out of that house, right? Um, you know, and then put it on a different house, ten thirty one exchange. And when you say houses, it includes all types of houses, right? Townhome, condos. Uh, uh, right. I would I would stick with a single family home single because family. that's gonna appreciate more than townhome. Town, yeah, it, it does include townhome. Three hundred thousand dollar is the just the ballpark, but you can go whatever the amount. Uh, you know that you uh, based on your, your your how much money you need right so this is based on like 1.5 million dollar divided by five and then we got 300,000 so you I have like to ask this question when get uh, before yeah. you go um, sorry to cut you in the middle but um, uh, before I forget this thought uh, what was I was gonna ask um, oh man okay I forgot the thought that's all right <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah. So when it comes to house appreciation, so would you would you rather go for a new newly constructed house or a five to ten year old house, or what would what would be your suggestion? Because we're talking about appreciation, right? And in, in, gaining financial, achieving financial independence in five years. So how how does it matter? Uh, the the, the uh, how new the house? It you have to look for the deal. Actually, basically, the five year older house uh, might be cheaper than the newer homes. Okay. By, but if the price is similar, it depends on the market, right? Mm -hmm. If the price of the new home of about the same square feet, same builder and same neighborhood is the same, it's like only $5,000. I would go with the new homes, right? Okay. I wouldn't go with the older right. one because of the, you know, it's going to last longer <laughs> and the appreciation will be more. But if you buy the fire old house, it doesn't really matter. Fire old house versus the new home doesn't really matter. Great, great thoughts. And thank you so much for this illustration. Like I said, it really uh, helps us clear things out. And guys, really hope that you learned something uh, new. And this is about our channel. It's all about gaining, uh, achieving financial independence sooner. So you wouldn't have to work for 25 to 35 years like our you know, ancestors did. And uh, so you have to, if you need to make a change, it has to start from you. So start the change from watching, by watching these videos. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask uh, and uh, share the good, 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 uh, good, good word. Um, 
it's about word of mouth. So like I said, spread the good word, share, like, uh, and adios until we meet next time. Thank you, guys.